Hello. I hope you're sitting comfortably at home or the library or wherever you're preparing for tomorrow's unit. And that unit is called number bases. And we're going to cover what a number base is and some number bases that we use in our daily lives. We'll do a bit of simple math with different number bases. And then in class, you'll get to choose another number base to work with. To start, please choose a pencil or crayon or paper from the stock you brought home from class, or open a new doc Google document if you're going to use your laptop or computer, or start up your voice to text app. For you as we go, and the first thing is to write the numbers up to 20, starting with zero. And here they are. You can see the sequence that I've written down. And as you can see, we write one zero or two digits after the single digit nine. And then after one nine, we write two zero. Why is this? Is it because we have 10 fingers and 10 toes that we go from one digit to two when we go after nine? Why not seven and leave out the thumbs? Now actually, it's historical. It's based on cultures long ago. And maybe some of you will research that in class when we do a web quest on the numbers. And this way of writing, putting a one zero after nine and a one zero zero after 99, is known as the number base 10 or decimal. And note, that the word for one zero is 10, and the word for one zero zero is 100. We'll be using those again. So now, take a look at two other sequences of number counting. when the sequence goes from one digit to two and two digits to three. Please note that. We're going to start with the bottom row of counting. And that is known as number base two because the two digit one zero comes immediately after the single digit one. And the three digit one zero zero comes immediately after two digits of one one. We never actually get to our usual base 10 number two. On the left, you can see how that sequence goes, adding one to the number just before. And also please Note that one zero is still called 10 and one zero zero is still called 100. We'll come back to that later. Now, why is a binary number base important and useful? Well, it's used in your computers. Electrical circuits make the numbers in computers and the math is done with these electrical circuit, circuits. And they can be either off, which is a zero, or on, which is a one. And that is all. And furthermore, I'd like you to try and remember that one zero base two things, they're crayons here, is fewer than one zero base 10 things. And one zero zero base two, which is actually four in the decimal system, is a lot fewer than a hundred base 10. 
Now we're going to move from this binary or base 2 system to number base 12, the other set of numbers that we wrote originally. And that is known as the duodecimal or the dozenal number system. And you can see in the sequence of numbers that E comes after 9, and X comes after E, and one zero or two digits doesn't come till after the X. And similarly, one zero zero comes after XX. You can see in the number system to the right, each time one adds one, what the answer is. One doesn't go to two digits till after 9 plus 1 being e, and e plus 1 being x, and then x plus 1 is 1, 0. But note, 1, 0 is still called 10, and 1, 0, 0 is still called 100. Now why would we use number base 12? You can try and remember it in terms of eggs. We don't get cartons of eggs usually in sets of 10. We get them in sets of 12. Some people think number base 12 is a very good idea and some of us should use it. One of the reasons is there are more numbers that divide into 12. Twelve divides evenly into two, three, four, and six, as well as clearly one and twelve themselves. And ten only divides evenly into two and five. So people think that if you use number base twelve, it'd actually be easier on us all. Now to move on quickly to some simple math to practice. And we'll give you a few minutes to do these. And now the answers. Well done. And we can go over these in class if you don't quite understand it at this point. So today's unit was about number bases. We covered three different ones. At the top of this slide, the decimal, in the middle of this slide, the dos and all, and the bottom of the slide, binary. And remember, you'll get to choose a different number base to work with in class as we go into this all in more depth. But if you're interested in more information at the moment, here are three web sites that you can look at. One which talks more about why counting in 12 could make our lives easier. One which talks about a new type of computing, quantum computing, that may not use the binary system in the end. This is quite complex. You don't have to read it. You may not understand it, and you can ask questions in class. And the third is questions in history about number systems themselves. Thank you. Look forward to talking more in class tomorrow.